We'll get back to the Partygate uh, story uh, in just uh, a moment. Uh, instead, let's uh, get to Martin Brunt, who is uh, uh, outside uh, the Old Bailey for us uh, with the sentencing uh, of the man who murdered Sir David Amos MP. Ali Harbi Ali's been given, as widely anticipated, a whole life sentence for the murder of Sir David Amos. Um, in the last minute or so, uh, the judge has delivered that sentence. I don't think anybody will be surprised at it. Uh, the judge, Mr Justice Sweeney, said there were no mitigating circumstances, uh, no mitigating factors that would steer away from a whole life sentence, which effectively means that Ali Harbi Ali, who is 26 today, will spend the rest of his life in jail without uh, the possibility of parole. Um, the judge uh, said that this was a murder that struck at the heart of democracy. He reviewed much of the evidence um, against Ali Harbi Ali. Remember that he had admitted the killing. Uh, he said he'd done it as an act of revenge. Uh, he'd targeted Sir David Amos because of his, what he described as his voting record, particularly his support for the UK's bombing of ISIS positions in Syria. Uh, the judge said that Ali had tried to get out to Syria to support ISIS, uh, but had been frustrated, so chose a domestic uh, terror target. And, in fact, uh, we heard impact statements from other people who were originally chosen as targets for Ali Harbi Ali, uh, including Michael Gove, Cabinet Minister, uh, also Michael Freer, uh, the MP, uh, and notably June C Cushions, who was Sir David's uh, parliamentary aide, who was there at the surgery in Leon C in Essex at the time of the murder. She said in her statement she still felt great guilt that she was the one who had chosen that venue where Sir David was murdered. She had chosen that venue for his constituency surgery, into which Ali Harbi had tricked his way before stabbing Sir David 21 times. Um, she also talked about her, her other guilt, her frustration at not being able to help her boss at the time. Um, so a whole life order, uh, life forever in prison uh, for Ali Harbi Ali. We spoke earlier to Nick Price, who is the head of counter-terror for the Crown Prosecution Service, and he said that this murder of Sir David Amos was an attack not just on an MP, uh, but on society as a whole. This is more of what he had to say. The uh, brutal murder of Sir David Ames was a disgusting and cowardly act visited on a man who was simply there serving his community as he had diligently done for so many years. This was not just an attack on Sir David Ames, awful as that was. This was an attack on all of us. It was an attack on our society and it was an attack on our democracy. The Crown Prosecution Service Counterterrorism Division has worked closely with the Metropolitan Police to ensure that we could present all of the evidence uh, to the court, to ensure that the court could see all of the evidence um, leading to this conviction. I hope that today's sentence demonstrates that there is no place in our society for acts ideologically motivated, acts of terror, and that those planning to uh, behave in that manner will be convicted and will uh, be visited with very long prison sentences. Obviously, today, our thoughts are with uh, Sir David's family and his friends. Their pain and suffering does not end with the conclusion of the criminal proceedings.
So, in fact, two whole life sentences for Ali Harbi Ali. Remember that he was convicted of murder and the preparation of acts of terror. So a, a whole life sentence on both of those. Um, and in respect of that second uh, that second conviction. Um, this was all about his stalking, uh, his wrecking of the homes of victims that he had chosen before Sir David Amos. Um, the judge made the point that he had anticipated attacking somebody at the House of Commons but found the security there much too tight with lots of armed police officers. So he chose uh, the homes and constituencies of uh, a number of MPs, and we did hear impact statements uh, from some of those, including um, Michael Gove, uh, the Cabinet Minister. Um, he talked about, very briefly in his statement, about the effect of learning that he had been a potential target, at least, uh, the effect on his family. Um, so Mike, uh, Michael Freer, MP, another chosen potential target of Ali Harbi Ali, um, he too described the moment that counter-terror police came to him after the uh, Sir David Amos murder and told him that he too had been a potential uh, target. He said that he's had to suspend his sur constituency surgeries until... Uh, better security uh, has been put in place. He talked about the anxiety still suffered by his staff. He talked about uh, how constituents who want to visit his office have to show uh, enhanced uh, identi uh, identification. Um, there was also an impact statement given to the judge, uh, but not read out from Sir David Amos's widow, Julia, and some of his children. Remember, he was the father of five children, a son and four daughters. Well, there were impact statements from them talking uh, about the effects that the loss of their father um, has had on them. But they made it clear, said the prosecutor, that they wanted those statements to remain confidential. Uh, the judge said simply that uh, he acknowledged that uh, he would keep them confidential, of course, but he had read um, the impact that uh, Sir David's murder had had on his family. Um, the judge went on to say moments before he handed down those sentences um, that Sir David Amos was a man of greatest substance, who had done nothing to justify uh, the attack on him, and he went on to say that his loss is one of national significance. Um, I'm not aware that there was any noticeable reaction from Ali Harbi uh, at that sentence. Uh, he may well have been expecting it. His, his lawyer probably told him that it was likely he would face a whole life sentence. So he joins a rogue gallery of something like 60 people who are in currently in British jails facing uh, whole life sentences. Um, they include some notorious murderers like Levi Belfield, like Wayne Cousins, uh, jailed here in similar circumstances with a whole life sentence um, last year. And also, of course, Thomas Mayer, who was the killer, the murderer of the MP Joe Cox um, in, uh, in 2016. He, of course, was driven by a very different ideology, a right-wing white supremacist ideology, but he too was given a whole life sentence, which is just is what's been handed down in the last few minutes uh, to Ali Harbi Ali here for the murder of David Amos. Uh, yes, that's right. I mean, he qualified.